Hey guys, I'm back again. Welcome everyone. So I'm back with a review of the new um, Murphy foundation and concealer. Now this foundation got a lot of um, hype in social media. I've seen so many mixed reviews. So for me, this is not gonna be where I demo it and then I do a wear test because I've worn both of them already. Um, because with the amount of mix, mixed reviews that I saw, because I don't usually like to look at reviews, but I did for this. It's been so mixed. I wanted to figure it out for myself. I wanted to make my judgment, my own opinion, but I wanted to wear it for more than just a couple hours and then come back and let you guys know. So I've worn it now for three straight days. So this is what the foundation looks like. I'm pretty sure you've seen it all over social media. It's just in this plastic squeeze um, container and this is what the concealer looks like. Um, the foundation retails for $18 and Murphy's still considered like an affordable brand kind of drugstore so my opinion is a little up there for a drugstore as far as drugstore prices go because you have like the Wet n Wild foundation that's like five dollars and something cents like Makeup Revolution is like thirteen dollars or something like that. Anyway it has a standard um, 30 mils and this is a very matte foundation and like I've said on my channel so many times I've been so so dry so what I've been doing when I wore it I've been using the Melanie Mills this is the peach deluxe it's like an illuminator and I've been mixing it in with my smash my smashbox illuminating primer as well now for this the shade I got on the foundation I got um, F4.8 which is uh, was described as rich with golden undertones which I think that I am but to me it's a little bit more neutral than it is yellow and for concealer I chose 3.65 and this is just described as cool so like I said I've worn it for three straight days so I'm just gonna uh, demo it for you guys let you guys see how it went on and then I'm going to um, give you my thoughts on the foundation all right so I'm gonna shake it up because all those in this tubey um, thing you can still shake it up and this is what the color looks like and like I said, it's more for me, it's not as yellow, it's more neutral, but I still don't mind the color. And I use my beauty blender to apply it. And as you can see, it's definitely more neutral than it is yellow. But compared to the other, to the other colors that they have, this was like, the closest because everything else was either too red or just had this weird I don't know weird pinkish color and some of them had like a, a fluorescent yellow so this was the closest for me as you can see it's super 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 full coverage because right here I have my melasma scarring and I have two different tones right here it covered it with one um, one application um, I think for a matte foundation it goes on beautifully it doesn't um, it doesn't cling or drag because um, when I deal with super matte foundations and I compare most of the super matte foundations to that Urban Decay All Nighter which I hated because I could not even get that on my face it just kept getting stuck and just wouldn't move and it was just like clinging into my skin all right so this is the foundation on and like I said for a matte foundation it goes on effortlessly um, it doesn't feel matte on the skin either my skin doesn't feel tight or anything like it feels very light on the skin for a uh, matte foundation now um, there's 60 shades in this foundation um, but to me the shade range some of them have like weird colors in my opinion like like I said before like the fluorescent yellows and some weird other colors but there are 60 shades to choose from this is supposed to wear for up to 24 hours now for me personally 
The first day I wore it, I wore it for about nine hours. The second day I wore it for about 12. And the third day I wore it for up to about 16 plus hours, maybe about 16 and a half hours. I wore it from early in the morning all the way um, in tonight. It's supposed to be sweat proof and transfer proof. Um, I'm just gonna demo a little bit here with my uh, paper towel. And I've worn this enough to know I've leaned against my clothes. It's not completely, it's not completely not transfer proof. As you can see, some did come off, but you would really have to like rub it for it. So that part, it's not too bad. It doesn't, well, it doesn't transfer easily. And they said it's free of oils and fragrance, but to me, I can smell a little fragrance, slightly paintish, but not a lot. The concealer to me smells um, stronger and it's supposed to be great for all skin types. Now, for the concealer, I got the shade 3.65. And usually I would, go in with quite a bit of concealer and this foundation is described as a velvet matte um, like I said I got the shade 3.65 in the concealer and usually I would go in and make a huge V for this I'm not putting as much I've just been putting like this amount on which is unusual for me and for this one, this is just described as cool. It has a, there's some kind of uh, peach in there, but it's not bad. I don't mind it. And it blends out easily, as you can see. And I think the coverage is excellent with this concealer. Um. I did get a little bit of creasing on all three days that I've worn it, like right under my eye, but it wasn't so bad. And I would say that creasing happened around maybe the, it worked for a while, I would say like maybe the eighth or ninth hour, and then I saw a little bit of creasing. It didn't crease right away. I did set it, like I'm going to, uh, do today and as you can see I didn't put as much as I would usually put when I do uh, concealer because I do love a lot of concealer and it's enough to give me the coverage that I want okay so all three times that I've worn this concealer I've set it with my um, Fenty powder so I'm gonna go ahead and set it I didn't set the actual foundation though. I'll just show you guys what I've been doing. If you hear like a child's voice in the background, it's my son. He's, um, my son is autistic and he doesn't really understand mommy's foaming and I should be quiet. So I hope you guys don't mind. So what I've been doing with the foundation, since it's so matte, I've been using my Laura Mercier, um, the glow powder, and I've just been dusting that around my face and not going in with a beauty blender or a brush and actually putting like powder on like I would usually do. So I've just been taking a little bit of this and I've just been going around my face with this and this is how I've been um, well not really setting but just illuminating my skin but like I said before as matte as this foundation is it doesn't to me look too matte and it there's nothing cakey about it either it sits very nicely on the skin and like I said it wore well for I would say about maybe 12 to about 14 about 12 to 14 hours all right so my final thoughts on this foundation and concealer I love 
both of them. I mean, not everything is for everybody. Not everybody is gonna want a matte foundation. This is why I wanted to try for myself and I wanted to do like a heavy duty wear test. And for the three days that I've worn it and the longest day that, I, that I've worn it was yesterday. Like I said, I wore it, I put it on about 9 a.m. and I took it off like after 11 at night. So I wore it like literally all day. And it did not feel mad on my skin, did not feel heavy on my skin even after all that time. When I test out a foundation, my biggest thing is if it's gonna settle into my lap line or anything like that. And like I said, I didn't do the standard powdering with it. This is exactly how I wore it for the three days when I wore it with the illuminating powder and just setting my under eye. And like I said, for the concealer, about I would say the eighth, ninth hour, like right under my eye, it started to crease a little bit, but nothing too crazy. But it did crease a little bit under my eye but as far as the foundation it did not move I mean it is very cold outside but it didn't move um, it didn't move around my laugh lines it didn't settle in there either I was really amazed that it didn't settle into my smile lines being that it's such a matte foundation um, it didn't look matte matte either like that really dead matte look and I think because of the illuminating powder that I dusted on my face that definitely helped and I also have concerns with the side of my face and I did shave my face for this <laughs> I shaved my face for this foundation because I was so terrified of like the matte aspect because my skin has been so dry and I didn't want it clinging to any hair on my face so I shaved my face but there's still some hairs I guess somewhere around but nothing clung anywhere um, and it didn't move from the side of my face either after a whole over 16 hours I had it didn't like move so for me overall I absolutely love this foundation and I absolutely love the concealer um, I had no bad reactions neither of the two broke me out which I never really have a problem with foundations or anything like that breaking me out but I just wanted to mention that and I think it's a, just a flawless um, finish and I just love the way it goes on there's no clinging there's no stickiness it's easy to just blend out because like I said I compared to that Urban Decay foundation oh my god I couldn't even move it I think this is a very very beautiful foundation my humble opinion and the concealer is also very beautiful and I love the way the, the way it wore and as you can see it looks very beautiful on the skin and it doesn't have that dead matte look anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you come back for even more videos like this and I'm gonna see you guys again in my next video